I joined the army in uh, an unusual fashion. I had a conversation with uh, Joseph Devlin, who was my father's friend and who was advocating, recruiting at that time, and told him of my wish to be part of the Irish Brigade that was being formed. And he brought me along with a letter of introduction to uh, the uh, man in charge of recruiting who had an office in Grafton Street, at the end of Grafton Street. If I recall correctly, his name was McCartan Philgate. And he gave me the form to fill out in application for a commission, a temporary commission in the British Army, uh, requesting to be made an officer in the Dublin Fusiliers of the Irish Brigade. This form I filled in, and subsequently, on uh, the, the end of the 1915, I received a temporary commission as a second lieutenant in the 7th Royal Dublin Fusiliers, which was then known as the Pals Battalion. Did you feel in, in joining the British Army that you were fighting for Britain or you were fighting for Ireland or you were fighting for little Belgium? For all three, but pri primarily I felt I was fighting for Ireland. I mean, like everybody else in it, we were an Irish brigade who had always subscribed to fights for small countries and Belgium was a small country who had had a horrific experience if we were to believe all that we were told. This created an atmosphere of sympathy amongst all of us. You were, you were a very young man. In fact, you were a youth. Was, so adventure, presumably, yeah. must have played part of your... Of course it did. I was 17, actually. I had to claim I was 18. But I, uh, I felt that I belonged. I mean, my father was steeped in this sort of thing. He was in rather a cleft stick because he was, as well as being pro-Irish, he was anti-British. However, that developed later because uh, I didn't advise him what I had done until I had been fitted out with uniform and... The first he knew was when I walked into my home in St. Eight Upper St. Columbus Road, dressed as a second lieutenant. What was his attitude? He told me to get out, that no bloody red coat would enter his house. My mother was in hysterics, and uh, after a time we subdued the old man and uh, I was received. 